One of Sioux Falls most recognizable landmarks could see a facelift of sorts. On the night beat, Couple Lands Dan Santella looks ahead to the future of what you'll see when you look up at the Washington Pavilion. Dan? Well, Don, take a view like this. I want to highlight two parts of the Washington Pavilion's exterior, the parapet and the cornice. The parapet looks a bit like a railing. It's here right up behind me with smaller pillars on the top of the exterior wall. The cornice is between the exterior wall and the roof under the parapet. The Sioux Falls City Council is set to consider paying several hundred thousand dollars for the design and planning of replacing these items. Tonight, I spoke with the Pavilion's president and CEO, as well as the city's director of finance to learn about this project. The city of Sioux Falls owns the Washington Pavilion, the and the city council is going to consider a request for $355,000, which would pay for a design of replacement parapet and cornice. It would be a professional assessment and design, um, as well as providing options um, in terms of how to replace the parapet and cornice, um, which uh, components to replace, and then what materials to use. Architecture Incorporated of Sioux Falls would conduct that design. Right now we have leaking in the building. Um, there are some uh, rough components that have not been replaced for a very long time, so they're in need of replacement. And uh, then the cornice and the parapet that sits on top of the cornice um, has cracks. Uh, you get moisture in there, rain, snow that melts and then that comes down through the building. He zeroes in on the cornice. Cornice really needs to be replaced because that's what seals the roof, um, keeps moisture out of the building, and that is an original material uh, to the original building back in 1908. Um, the parapet may or may not need to be replaced. That will be a decision that the city makes and it'll be based on the assessment. Sean Pritchett, director of finance for the city of Sioux Falls, explains what will pay for this design. This comes from the entertainment tax fund, so this is the additional penny that people pay when they go out to eat, or it's the additional penny that they have when they buy liquor, or if they, for tickets and so forth. Pritchett also said that that $355,000 cost would include part of the construction administration, too. Tonight, the Sioux Falls City Council decided to defer the first reading of this ordinance to March 3rd. All right, thank you, Dan.